And this gets back to the point of how he has consistently disparaged and demeaned members of our military, fallen soldiers, and the work that we must do to uphold the strength and the respect of the United States of America around the world. Vice President Harris, thank you. President Trump, your response to her saying that you began the negotiations yeah, thank with you. the Taliban. So if you take a look at that period of time, the Taliban was killing our soldiers, a lot of them, with snipers. And I got involved with the Taliban because the Taliban was doing the killing. That's the fighting force within Afghanistan. They don't bother doing that because, you know, they deal with the wrong people all the time. But I got involved. And Abdul is the head of the Taliban. He is still the head of the Taliban. And I told Abdul, don't do it anymore. You do it anymore. You're going to have problems. And he said, why do you send me a picture of my house? I said, you're going to have to figure that out, Abdul. And for 18 months, we had nobody killed. We did have an agreement negotiated by Mike Pompeo. It was a very good agreement. The reason it was good, it was we were getting out. We would have been out faster than them, but we wouldn't have lost the soldiers. We wouldn't have left many Americans behind, and we wouldn't have left — we wouldn't have left $85 billion worth of brand-new, beautiful military equipment behind. And just to finish, they blew it. The agreement said, you have to do this, 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 and they didn't do it. They didn't do it. The agreement was — was terminated by us because they didn't do what they were supposed to I, do. I want to move and on. And these people did the worst withdrawal and, in my opinion, the most embarrassing moment in the history of our country. And